Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Well, today we're going to be doing some cleaning up and preparing to start another chicken pen. Um, one reason why we're not going to start it today, but um, as you'll see, we've got a mess over here and uh, I've got to get it cleaned up. Everybody has left comments and stuff, but I'm going to show you um, the reason why we brought this scrap wood home. We got all this wood for free. Uh, there's probably three or four hundred dollars worth of wood if not more um, that we actually brought home but we're going to break it down and prepare it to start our new uh, chicken coop you know um, we're going to be raising a bunch of chickens as many y'all know we love chickens so we got several things that's going to be going on in this video today's video is going to be sponsored by Timu, and i'm going to tell you a little bit more about that here later on in the video um, it's a great place to shop. You can get a lot of good stuff for really cheap prices. So let's go ahead and start moving all this uh, stuff over here and then we will start cutting it up and I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. All right, guys, like I said, today's video is sponsored by Team Moo. We ordered our stuff last week and we finally got it in. And uh, the kids have no clue what we got, but we're fixing to open it up, show them. They're going to be super excited, and y'all are too, because this means we get to go venture. Well, I'm not going to go much farther, but yeah. let's go ahead and open this first one here. I think, I think it is an umbrella. Umbrella. Nice umbrella? So this first one here. We've been, we enjoy these. It is a trap. A pull trap, maybe pull up. Um, well, let me get it all undone here, maybe. There it is. Whoa. This is a little minnow trap. Um, we can set it in the creek. You open it up and put your bait in it right there. And then here's a zipper to open it up to get your fish and stuff out of it. So that's pretty cool. Kaysen loves these. Um, okay. And we're, and, and, and Layton, and we can set these guys out so we can bring the little fish back to our pond for our fish to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and open the second one here. Look at an umbrella. Some sort of umbrella. Yeah. It is an umbrella. This is an umbrella. So if we're fishing or whatever, we it can put it there. Or on we can still sit back and fish. Well, maybe like yeah, yeah fish and not get wet. Well, I can be on the phone or I can be editing videos. I can do all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I thought the kids would get a kick out of that. I think I got a couple of these. Addison, will you hold these? Yeah. And this next thing here we got. That looks like a ribbit key. Is... Get it opened up here. A little bit of fishing line. Oh. Yeah, I figured you'd like that. So I went ahead and got you some of the, like the uh, line. You set that to the side. And let's home. see what else we got here. I think I got one of these for each one of the boys. Boom. Life vest? Like a adventure vest? Or, or maybe this is for me. Let's yeah, see if it... Yeah, that one looks like a you, I don't know. Let's see if it fit. It'll fit. Oh yeah. So. Give me one. I'm putting baits in here. That way, y'all boys can't outfish me. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. What pound is this? I don't know. What to look at. Oh, it. oh I got y'all a fishing bag. It's a fifty-four pound. Fifty-four oh, pound. Great, great, All right, we'll hold that just a second. Got us a little fishing back here that we can put our gear. That's pretty exciting. We got a bunch of lures to go in that. And then we're gonna open this up and see what this is. This is headlamp. Headlamp. 
Yeah, they, they actually had some, uh, got a headlamp just so uh, we can go that's try to look right. at some of the frogs and stuff. So that's, that's pretty bullfrog. neat. Bullfrog? Yeah, this big. Man, there is so much stuff. Oh, this is what? I need what everyone needs. When what mowing. everyone needs? When they're mowing, whoa. When, well, Backward. Maybe. Yeah, when they're mowing. When you're mowing, you put that on there. These and, are for everyone. Yeah, I got this for all of y'all. Bra baby, come on over here. There's probably little fishing nets that stand. I got everybody one. We got want, all different colors purple. right there. I, 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 I want purple. I knew they expanded. Purple. I would put my, my chocolate too. Yeah, this yeah. is amazing. I got purple. So, and this other big package we got here. Is corn rags? No. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. A tent. I don't know. Tent. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Tent. Maybe it is a tent. I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, no. It's a sleeping bag. Oh. Oh, I remember now. It's an inflatable cow. No, I'm saying it's, it's a cow. Yeah. It's an inflatable boat. That's what I'm looking for. You want to blow it up, Dad? Um, this is what they look like when it's fully inflated there. Hopefully you zoom in. And then on the back, it's got the instructions. That would probably help. So we're going to make sure we set this over yeah, here to the side. Long my noses. Yeah. And then we got this here to go to the creek. This is awesome to go have fun with the kids and family. And uh, we actually go down to the creek quite often. And there's times we do want to go cook and stuff. And now we can actually cook because we have our own little pots and pans. You've got your own little deal to boil some water there. Yeah, and then you, the water. Then you can uh, What's the string? put that there. And, and you, you, you got a, a bow to cook whatever or heat up. And a little bitty frying pan. This one is something. A little bitty frying pan. You got your little handles there so you can handle it. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. A little bitty frying pan so we can cook and stuff if we go to the creek. You can put the and you got fish a little bitty that. spoon. All kinds of good stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's great. And I got this here, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this here is a pair of fishing pliers. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, whenever we get, you know, get something. Stuck in like the back of the Yeah, or if you need to, yeah, this put is them. for the fishing. So, we can actually put them back in there and keep them and put them on your belt. Daddy. And last but not least. It looks like another trap. Another trap. Like I say, guys. We love going down to the creek, and... Um, that look like mine. It does, don't it? We love going down to the creek, and now we can go down there and oh, sit. It's a, oh, it's a big one. It's like, oh, you pull the string here. That is mine, right? No. Wow, just like that, and you I can mean, put your... Wow, them are amazing. Look at that, guys. And guys, I, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the price right beside each one of these products as we open them. But these right here, believe it or not, this is what we're more excited about because we can go out and catch the fish and stuff. So um, here's the deal about Timu. Timu offers affordable prices, high quality, and multiple categories of all different items. And it's a they offer amazing. And I mean amazing coupons. I'm going to tell you about one here in just a second. It's going to blow you away. So um, right now they got a statewide sale, sale saving you up to 90% off. That's right. I said 90% off. So um, they also offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. Um, right now, if you download the Timu app and use our link or our code, you will get a $100 free coupon. I said, let me say it again, a $100 free, I can't even say it, a $100 free coupon. Um, I'll leave all that information down. I'll leave a link in the description box and I'll leave a link in the comment box. Um, like I say, we purchased uh, two or three different times off of Team Moon. Steph just got a lot of beautiful blankets on hers. 
So, um, like I say, I'm going to leave a link down below. Um, I definitely uh, would encourage you to go over there and check it out. These prices are amazing what we gave for this stuff. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so now that we got all the boards stacked over here, we got them stacked over here nice and neatly. Uh, those uh, boards on the back side, we will rip those down later and I'll show you what we're going to do with them. And uh, these little smaller pieces, I've cut them to a certain length because I've got an idea what I'm going to do with them. These boards here, we're cutting down to about an inch and a half and that's what we're uh, building the frame of our chicken coops out of. Once we get done with them, there'll be that, that length right there. And uh, that's how we built all those coops. And it's worked out good for us. We'll set that over there. But it's worked out good for us. And as you see, these have got some screws in them. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. All right, so these screws are stripped out. They won't back out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them. In which there was a bunch of them like this. But um, like I say is, you know, it is a little more work, but you know, this piece of board right here, if you was to buy it, it would probably cost you about $18, $19, I think, if it was a new one. And after we get done here, um, I'm gonna go to Tractor Supply and actually get me a magnet so we can start rolling through here and picking up all the screws and stuff. Uh, I don't want to get any flats or anything like that. So that's what we'll do. So we're going to go ahead and move it over here. Alright guys, so I've got all the wood and everything cut up and I put it over there on the far side and uh, I've actually moved the cutting table and everything over there as well. Um, we are going to be making a guinea uh, pen here before too long for the baby guineas and uh, we'll bring you along on it. So what I'm going to do now is go through and, and do my walk through with the animals and just check on them and uh, I always like to go through and talk to them and just, just let them know that, you know, I love them and, you know, I, I, I believe they understand. I really do. And if you come out every day and spend a little bit of time with them, they, I mean, it's like Badger, you know, he, he has grown attached to me, but I always come out at first. He didn't, you know, come up to me. He always ran away or if I, he thought I had food, but you know, ever since he got sick and he come to me for help, he has been a different person. And the more time you spend with them, the more friendlier they get. And then plus we're going to come over here and uh, check out the puppies. We got the puppies in here with uh, the chickens and stuff. So um, we just want them to interact with them so they don't, um, so they know uh, animals are good and they are to protect them. So, uh, so far so good. The puppy's been doing really good in there. They're going for the shots here in the next day or two. Uh, I'm not for sure what day uh, Steph got it scheduled, but okay. Well, come here. All right, Cowboys, he's here. He he likes that camera too, don't you, buddy? Don't you, buddy? Huh? He's a good boy. Yeah, um, Cowboy likes every time. Usually in the morning time when I come out, he's um, he's out walking up to the door waiting for me to come out. And no, uh, Harry right there, he's the, what? And usually I, I'll pick him up and toss him and pick him up and toss him a couple times and then that's what he wants. So we're easing over here. This is where we're keeping the turtles at. I think that water bowl's got a hoe in it or something. Um, this is where we're keeping the turtles. All right, go play. See, he'll come back. He wants to. I 
I'm actually going to run back over to the house and get uh, a couple tomatoes and some squash and see if they eat them. So we'll see what they if they like it or not. All right, guys, I went over there and I got some uh, little cherry tomatoes and peppers. Let's see if they eat them. Well, them tomatoes go all the way to the bottom. They're probably not going to eat them with me standing right here. So I want to put this. Oh, there's going to be a glare. Of it. I don't think he's seen me there for a minute. We'll see. I'll come back out later on and, and actually see if uh, they they eat any of it. But um, all the baby goats are doing good. Not baby. We Well, speaking of baby, we moved some of the babies over here. What are you doing, Socks? Huh? You want to tell everybody hi? You want to tell everybody hi? He's a good girl, yeah. He's a good girl, yeah. Oh, she said you got too close. Oh man, we shaved them, but that don't look as good as uh, a honey. Honey's look really good, but um, we will definitely uh, let the professionals do it next go around. Ah. Cinderella is the only lucky goat out there. She gets to hang out. Romeo, how are you? You tell everybody hi. Huh? There's Romeo. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Juliet. Say hi. Everybody wants to see see ya. Yeah. Yeah. Give them lovings. Give them some lovings. They say hi. Yes, they do. All right, boys and girls. So they usually hang out under there. Um, as the sun falls in the evening time, there is a little bit that falls on here, but most of the time it stays completely shaded. Hi, buddy. How are you? How are y'all doing? Y'all playing? Look at them, brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh, she misses Mama. Mama will be back over here. And another thing with us putting them over here is um, it actually gives Mama and them a break. Look at there, she's testing the, the chickens out. Huh. Y'all guys are so beautiful. You know it? You're so beautiful. I think it's good they go over and interact with the other animals. That's really good. them to know that it's okay chickens and animals are good and we don't hurt them ain't that right we don't hurt them we don't hurt them look at this big old boy here's a big boy yeah all them pretty blue eyes yes it amazes me with them being solid white how dirty they get and then they clean their own self up or I don't know how because earlier today we come out here and these guys were absolutely 
rolled in the mud, tossed in the mud. It was crazy. Oh, they, they don't even smell like a dirty dog. They're so fresh and clean. But we like to wash them down with Dawn dishwater soap to keep fleas and stuff off of them. And uh, we don't have an issue at all, do we? No, we, we don't have an issue at all. You're a good dog, you don't you? What are you? You're a boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. He's going to go to a good home. Or you may stay here because we're going to keep a boy. Yeah, this might be your farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Come here, girls. So we interact with them a little bit. I do want them to be a little bit um, tame, but for, we don't love on them all the time because, you know, they are guard dogs. Um, they are for the animals. And um, we want to make sure we keep them that way. So. But anyways, guys, I know Cowboy. Cowboy does not go very far. I know you want in here too, don't you? <laughs> you want in here too. Well, hi, honey. How are you? She's so sweet. Hi. All right, we're back out here with honey. We'll see how close she is. Uh, it's, ever since we actually sheared them, they've got a lot tamer. Well, hi, honey. How are you? Do you feel good today? Huh? Do you feel good today? Have you been in your bathtub? You ain't been in the bathtub. What about you, cowboy? How are you doing? You want to smile for the camera? Tell everybody you're going to have a t-shirt come out soon? Huh? How many people's going to be waiting in line for one of your t-shirts, buddy? Huh? Yeah, cowboy. That's right, guys. If you don't follow us on Facebook or any other social media platforms, we do have a cowboy shirt coming out. And we did we did share a sneak peek of it on one of our lives. I don't remember which one. And, um, and I think we did a reel too. I don't remember what it was, but it um, seemed like we got really good feedback on it. So it's already in the makes. Um, we're waiting on it. Um, we got a couple other shirts that we're going to make as well. Been uh, some stickers and trying to work on some hats. So I hope y'all really enjoy merch because we're fixing to have a bunch of it. And uh, guys, we greatly appreciate all y'all's love and support. That's what helps us here on the farm. And uh, we couldn't do this stuff without each and every one of y'all watching our videos. So we want to thank y'all so much for watching our video today. And don't forget to go check out some of the Timu, the Timu app. Um, they got some amazing deals on there. And go over and get your $100 coupon. So I'll leave a link in the description box. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.